Right, this is an Acom 2000, and I'm gonna put it on the bench and tell you about it. It's just a bit dusty. So if you don't know anything about amplifiers, I mean, they're all much for muchness when it comes to the technology, all right? Some of them have a lot of buttons on the front and some of them don't. This has a little remote controller for it. And then James, M0YOM, James has written a piece of software called Acom Director to put what you see on this on your screen, on your computer, your PC, whatever. That's the main on off switch. So effectively what, what a linear amplifier does is it will take your signal out of your radio and it'll boost it. Okay, in CB world we call them a burner. The ham radio world is a little bit more difficult because we've got lots of different frequencies we need to be able to adjust the electronics for. It just so happens the Acom 2000 is completely automatic. So it's, it's like having a 2000 watt radio, basically. Now I leave mine on about 10 watts input, which will give me about 400 watts out, which means any radio I use just becomes a 400 watt radio. I just hit the push to talk button. This retunes in an instant. This isn't a demo of, a TA, of an Acom 2000, by the way, because you've seen me use it many times before on the channel. I'll put a couple of links up so you can see it. Um, but I'll show you how you connect it to a radio or how any limiting amplifier connects your radio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put, this is the little remote controller thing. I'm just gonna put it here. We'll switch it on. If you're interested in an Acom 2000, why I would buy this one again, and why you might wanna buy one, I don't know. I mean, for America, having a 1500 watt radio was really handy. I'll show you the back of this in a minute. Let me just connect it. I have mine on a board on wheels because if you can afford one of these, you might be a little bit older because you've paid a few things off. In my case, I did a deal with someone and um, it was this or something else and I took this. I have battered this one to hell. Let me just switch it on. Okay, so that's counting down now and I'll just let it count down while I talk to camera. So you probably, I've taken this on holiday, I've taken it on field days. This is probably the most used Acom 2000, honestly, in the world. And um, it's failed once on one of the output connectors. Um, RF, I think it was input. This one here, a little bit of coax going from there into the electronics. And basically it's, it's snapped. It was only a small, you know, because 40 watts drive gives you 15, 1600 watts out. So that's the only time, but I've had it on field days. It's sitting fields, it's, it's amazing. But why would I buy it again, I think, is the, is the question. Can you hear it? Because that's it at full chat, right? Once this is under your desk, you just don't hear it. Most amplifiers, the fans are sized so you can hear that. And I had an Emeritron 811A for a while. Well, I don't have that anymore because you know, I sold it. But... Um, the fan, you know, just made such a blooming racket. And the whole desk vibrated, really. This is completely silent. But in one minute, I'm going to show you this and just let you hear the stepping motors and what happens when it finally boots up. Right now, it's just heating the tubes up. There's two tubes here and here. And I will show you on screen now some spare tubes that I found last night in my in my house. I lost them for about five years. I've literally just found them. And I could have bought an FT891 or 897 or whatever it is, a nice little <laughs> Yesu radio for the price of buying new old stock tubes for this. This retails at four and a half thousand pounds, I think. It, you normally you get a nice colour display these days but this is the old sort of monochrome style. And this is 13 years old and it's still doing 1500 watts if I want to. Look at the screen, Lockie. So we're coming down and if we remain nice and quiet, you'll hear the little noises it makes when it boots up. Uh, 
and that's the noise it would make when you change bands. So you go from 40 to 20, I just go, ah, like that. It senses the frequency, it just goes, bzz. Does a whole load of other things. It measures things, and you can have on your display or on your screen with ACAM Director, you know, what the temperature of these two things are, what the, the current is drawing, power input, power output, SWR. This will happily tune, but well, it doesn't tune, it just works at three up to three to one SWR at full power. At full power, that is, I know because I've tested this, this shuts down, it just bleeps, it goes beep, beep, comes up with an error. 575 watts of return power that can't get to the antenna due to high SWR. Let's flip around, you'll see now why I've got her on wheels, because you can actually move her around, and find out what's going on and have a look at things. But there's not a lot. Now most, most of the amplifiers you'd have probably have like the experts and you have lots of different outputs with controllers. Uh, you know, on the controller you can go antenna one, antenna two, three. This is just RF in, RF out. A ground lug. We've got an RS232 and that's what James uses to connect Acom Director to. A remote controller here. I don't use ALC. All I use is the power from the from the the radio and I just know it will take up to 100 watts. And if you've got a 100 watt radio, you're fine. If you've got any more, it will just trip out. I'm saying, oh, sorry, mate. So you don't really need ALC, but you've got key in. So that this one here is the one that connects to your radio. So when you hit the PTT, this goes click. And that's all it does. You start talking and on the bar graph, it comes up with all the, you know, how much power you're putting out. Beautiful. A beast. And as you saw, with locking on it, it's very heavy. I'll check the specs and I'll put the weight down here, but it's, uh, it weighs a ton. Looks great, because you know, I don't know anybody who has actually this on the desk. You've normally got it out of the way. The only thing you can see is this, and you can buy the upgraded color version of the Acom 2000 top. But there's a great little video where somebody talks this through and 42 watts, he was getting 1500 watts out. And I'll put a link to that in the description. You can go and have a look at his video. All right, all the best. See you next time. Bye for now.